think you'll love it. It really captures the the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates rule the waves, these men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. It's not being rated. <laughs> oh, God. They massacred it. Turn to your animus? That's actually a mission? Uh, and, well, what now? Talk, you idiot. Look at the light. Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah, <clears throat> I'm sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello? Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Sergo's cloud server. I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before you died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, uh, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top. Give yourself a pat on the back. And, happy hacking. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Part two? Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. When my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cold! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too.
And all the harm that ever I've done, alas, it was too none for me. And all I've done for want of a wit to memory now I count. So let me parting glass. Good night. Did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing the boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not this me. Makes sense why he Mom wanted all the money on the entire them. time. She said you wrote only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier. I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steer your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. Can't handle too many more surprises. You think we'll see a whale? 
Yes, there's a very good chance. Ooh. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. 